I don't regret anything, you know, and, and that's where, that's why I think I'm misunderstood a little bit in this situation. You know, everybody's waiting for me to buy my head, you know, take a knee and say I'm sorry and plead for forgiveness. I have nothing to apologize for. Max, just a few minutes ago, right here on GMA, not backing down from his criticism of the judges, it has been a dramatic week on Dancing with the Stars, capped off with Chaz Bono and Lacey Swimmer saying goodbye to the ballroom last night and Chaz and Lacey join us now live from Los Angeles. Thanks for getting up early this morning guys. I want to get to that, that terrific speech you made last night Chaz in just a second but first you you just heard Max there saying he doesn't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't hear his entire segment but but what did you think when you heard him take on the judges the other night and does he have anything to apologize for? Um, you know I mean everybody has the right to to speak their mind and um, you know, I think that he cleared some stuff up last night, it seemed like. So, um, you know, that's, I, I mean, that's all really I have to comment on. And, and Lacey, the, uh, Max singled you out, saying you guys are friends. And, but there seems to be a fair amount of tension there between him and Derek. I try to stay out of it, you know. And I think everyone here supports each other, and it's just, we, you know, we've been around each other for 13 seasons. It gets to be like a big family. <laughs> So maybe just, so just a little family quarrel there. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's get on to last night because, as I said, Chaz, that was really, um, you went out with some real class last night. I want to show all our audience the, the speech you gave right at the end. You know, look, I came on this show because I wanted to show America a different kind of man. And I know that um, if there was somebody like me on TV when I was growing up, my whole life would have been different. And so I dedicate everything I did to all the people out there like me, and especially the kids and teens who are struggling. Yes. You know, you can have a wonderful, great life and be successful and happy. You had a real goal here. Did you reach it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, this experience really exceeded any expectations that I had and was something that, you know, will probably forever affect my life. How so? Um, it, you know, it gave me a confidence in myself that I didn't have before and a physical awareness and, and um, a knowledge that I can do more than I thought I could and I can get through a lot. You know, you were so gracious last night, but it, you didn't hide your anger after uh, Bruno's comments uh, on, on Monday night. And you said, you know, you, you made an, an important point here. I want to... Uh, quoted for our viewers right now. You said, if you're an overweight woman in the competition losing weight, they love you. You're an overweight guy trying to do this competition, getting in shape. They penalize you for it. Is that what Bruno was doing? Well, you know, look at, I got a lot of references from him about, you know, things that would indicate the fact that I'm overweight, you know, around this. I was called a basketball, a penguin, an Ewok, and I just didn't appreciate it. It's like, if you want to critique my dancing and give me some some uh, constructive advice so that I can try to improve the next time I'm there that would be great but I don't really know how to be less penguinish and so uh, I kind of took offense to that. Lacey? I just think it's unnecessary and you know it's just it's hard to you know take this competition seriously when the judges are so inconsistent so it, it's hard um, but at the same time we went out there did what we needed to do and did it well and we had a great time doing it and I think at the end of the day that's what our job is all about so and boy Chaz you really had your mom in your corner throughout this as she took to Twitter last night she backed you up on uh, Bruno and, Car and thanked Carrie Ann, uh, but also <laughs> seemed to think that Len was a little bit uh, grumpy. Your mom really got into this, didn't she? Yeah, I, th I think she really did. I mean, I don't know, you know, it's kind of, uh, when I told my family I was doing this, they were a little surprised and, you know, I don't think they thought much. And then they all really got behind me, kind of like everybody else, and, and were rooting for me because they saw how hard I was trying and and how much I was pushing myself and coming out of my shell. And, you know, this was something that my mom and I could really have common ground on because this is something that she, she knows what it feels like to go out and perform in front of an audience. And, and you seem to enjoy it as well, as hard, as hard as you were working. And that was so much fun to see. Before you guys go, who are you rooting for now? JR. JR, for sure. Whoa. Yeah, all the way. He's <laughs> all the way. An amazing person. Yeah. All yes, the way. Yes, yes. Amazing guy. 
I mean, best look, answer. I love everybody on the cast, and 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 so I have to go now. For me, it can't be about personalities because I love everyone. So I have to pick who I think is the best dancer. And for me, it's always from the beginning of the competition been JR. Okay, guys. And he's got a good personality he's, behind it. He's a great guy. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. Thank you so much. You guys are terrific. Thank you. Thank you.